What up, Huck Squad? Today I'm going to be showing you an easy way to organize and visualize your disc golf bag. It is a website called mydiscbag.com. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it, how to enter discs, how to see the chart, and also just a couple little additives that the website has. So I feel like this is going to help a lot of people, including myself, see different gaps or different duplicates or different areas of their bag that they might need to improve or you might have two discs that do pretty much the same thing so you're able to take one of them out but it just gives you a good visualization of your bag instead of just looking at it traditionally so we're gonna get right into it when you go to mydiscbag.com you can either log in and create an account or you can use a guest bag and if you use the guest bag then anytime you want to create an account you can actually transfer those discs over into your new account so don't feel like you need to put everything in twice Getting into my account here, you can see that I already have all my discs in my bag loaded into the app. And there's a couple different tabs and a couple different selections that you can use along the bottom. Right now, I'm just in like the grid selection, so you can just see at the top, it's uh, determined by speed, but you can also change it to glide, turn, fade, and it would just change the order that everything's in, but having it based on speed is an easy way to see how your discs kind of progress through your bag. So all my putters are at the bottom, we got our mid-ranges in the middle, a couple fairway drivers, a couple distance drivers. So this is just a general list of all the discs. Now when I move over, one more more tab into that little four uh, four dot square thing you kind of get this grid and I think this is my favorite part about my disc bag just looking at mine the very first thing that you can see is I don't like to throw understable discs. The Essence is the only disc in my bag that's considered understable everything else is either neutral right up the middle or it's leaning towards overstable so that's true I'm, I'll be the first to admit I do not like to really throw understable I do have a couple discs and you can see the KC Pro Rock down there on the left is actually considered overstable but my personal KC Pro Rock is actually super beaten in and super flippy at this point so I might be able to show you a way to change that you can see that I have like an MD5 as an overstable mid-range I have a splice as an overstable fairway driver I have my cloud breaker my DD3 my DD1 as as my distance drivers it just gives you a really clear and definite way to see your bag visually and you can actually click on any of these boxes as you see I'm doing right now so let's just say I wanted the slot that I have this little white box on if I double click it it gives me disk suggestions and if I scroll it gives you a ton of different disks from different companies that all fall into that box so it just gives you so much flexibility to see different discs that you might want to get. And so if I go up to like driver, for instance, and I click up here, maybe like an 11 speed flippy driver, and I get some suggestions, you can even see the DD by Disc Mania is right there. So you can check out what brand you have and you can see the name of the discs. And I just thought that this whole chart was just super cool. Like I've never really seen anything like it before and it just gives you a different insight into your bag than what you think you might have in your own head. So I think that this is my favorite tab. But then if you move over one more tab, it gives you all the flight paths too. Average flight paths. So it gives you the distance, it kind of shows how it would fly. And then in the top right, you can even flip it if you're a forehander or if you're a lefty player. So you can flip the flight paths depending on what style of throw you have. But just these three main tabs in terms of the list, the chart, which I think is really cool, and then the flight paths, just give you such a different understanding of your bag than what you might have in your head already. I just thought it was really cool and worth making a quick video about. And then even on the bottom, there's a couple more tabs. The light bulb also gives you disc suggestions similar to what we saw in the chart. This little recycling thing restores deleted discs. So if you take discs off and you want them back, you can use this to restore those discs. News section is just for the owner or the creator of the app to share any new news with you. And the next one is just for donations because it's a, it's a free app, but obviously it's going to cost some money to create and keep up to date. So I don't know. I just wanted to run through this really quick. I don't really have too much else to say. In the settings uh, section, you can also change the units that it's measured in. You can change your throwing style, the disc names on the chart. You can even change the theme color of the entire website. You can choose different sample themes like a rainforest or, or mint or chocolate or just random colors that you want to change the theme to. For a brand new player, an amateur player, even a pro player, you might not really realize what gaps or what holes you might have in your bag. And 
even for me, like up top, the Cloudbreaker and the DD3, they're really similar, but same thing as my KC Pro Rock, my DD3 is a little bit flippier than what it says here, and the Cloudbreaker, the new Gannon Burr Cloudbreaker that I just put in, is probably a little bit more overstable than it says here. There is a way to adjust these uh, flight paths. As you can see on the Cloudbreaker one, there's a little flight path adjuster right there, because I already tried it. Uh, it wasn't working 100% of the time for me, but if you select the disc, and then you go to the flight chart, you'll see that the selection is now highlighted and you have these little circles and blue lines that you can adjust with. So I already moved the flight over a little bit on the left up top just because it's more overstable than my regular DD3. But you can see, just by clicking and dragging, you can adjust how much these kind of move. So my cloud breaker is more overstable, so I want it to finish more left on this flight path. Then you go back, you unselect it, and another example that I gave you was my KC Pro Rock. I'm gonna select it, I'm gonna go back. Now, this one actually is pretty understable. So it actually gets a good amount of turn out of my hand and it's really not gonna finish, like it's really not even gonna finish that much at all. If I throw it hard on a righty backhand, it flips up and glides and just barely comes back at the end. So I would say that that is probably a more accurate representation of the flight of my KC Pro Rock. Maybe even more, I might even wanna see if I can pull it, yeah, like that. Because it does kind of flip up and then go to the right. So, I don't know. I just think it's really cool that you can go in and adjust the specific flights of all the discs that you have too. There was one disc in my bag that actually wasn't in the system, the Notion. Just to show you how to add a disc, if you hit the little plus sign in the bottom, this is where you add each individual disc. So you can autofill a disc. They have literally every single disc you could think of except for like brand new releases. When I went to do the Notion earlier and I typed it in, nothing came up. But say I typed in like MD5, it would automatically come up. So if you have a disc that is not coming up for whatever reason, you can actually go down to the bottom and it says right on the bottom left there, can't find a disc, you can help by adding it here. So I just added the Notion and it takes a couple days to get approved. You put the name of the disc in, say it was an MD5, most of it gets auto-filled, the name, the manufacturer, but then you get to disc plastic, you can do C-line, S-line, swirly, whatever you wanna type in. You can put the weight, you could even choose what bag it's in, in this case I'm gonna hit main, that's the only bag that I have. You can even choose the stamp, you can adjust the color, so my MD5 is like a neon yellow. So. I don't know, I just wanted to keep this short and sweet. I think it can help a lot of you guys. And that's gonna really wrap things up. If you like this and you end up using it, it literally takes like 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes to just kind of figure it out and get all your discs loaded in. That's it, I'm just gonna keep it nice and short and sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you use my disc bag and get some value out of it. And if you use it and you end up finding some disc suggestions that end up making your bag, that's like, so cool and it's literally free so go check out my disc bag go enter all your discs into it kind of get that visual representation get some disc suggestions and just go from there i don't know i just thought it was really cool and i thought it was worth making a video on i looked on youtube i did not see any other videos talking about my disc bag i really don't know how new it is but it's really cool and whoever made it you did an amazing job so thank you so much for putting it out there i just thought it was really cool and that's it i'll see you guys in the next one peace Thank <laughs> you.